Each trace on a printed circuit board has an electrical resistance. If current flows through a conductor, the electrical resistance causes a voltage drop, which is also called IR drop. The reason for power loss over an electrical conductor is the conversion of electrical into thermal energy. Heating of a car side mirror is a very simple example to show the behavior on a printed circuit board. The heating is realized with a white nickel chrome track placed on a one sided PCB. Now the simulation can start without simulation models. The simulation results for the voltage drop are represented by the color scale. The voltage drops by more than 2.1 volts from 12 volts at the red end to 9.8 volts at the blue end of the track. The simulation shows the different temperatures on a conductor, how it is heated by the current. At an ambient temperature of 20 degrees, the trace heats up to 42.5 degrees at the hottest point. If you expand the view to include the base material of the printed circuit board and the surrounding area, the simulation result shows the real heat profile of the side mirror. Sigrity PowerDC provides PCB designers with useful information during the design phase when designing the power supply system. After a short setup we see the voltage drop, also called IR drop, the heating and the current density distribution. In our case, the problem areas are narrow copper lines with excessive supply currents flow. Current density distribution in copper surfaces, lines or wires can nicely be illustrated in different ways. By entering only a few details and without special knowledge, you can get already valuable information about the problem areas in a very short time. By adding more information, the simulation becomes more and more accurate up to the exact representation of reality and in compliance with measurement results. With only a few more specifications, PowerDC offers even more possibilities, such as impact of airflows, heat sinks, and the mutual influence of multiple PCBs.